you've tuned in to Coed Gaming. What's up, guys? My name is Mike of Coed Gaming, and I love Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter is the kind of game where it looks really, really hard from the outside, and then you get in there, and it seems easy, and then you realize it's just as hard on the inside. But Monster Hunter is also the kind of game that feels rewarding at the end of the day. After a long hunt, after a fight that's lasted maybe 20 minutes or so, when you finally kill that monster that you've been fighting and you've been looking for all day, you feel rewarded. You feel like you really accomplished something. And Monster Hunter has proven itself to be one of the most satisfying and most engaging local multiplayer games on the market, especially in Japan. However, as great as Monster Hunter is, there are some things that it needs to change and it needs to fix for Monster Hunter 5. So, this is my list of all of the things that needs to be fixed in Monster Hunter 5. The first thing that I want to talk about is something that most players use as ammunition against the Monster Hunter franchise. The first thing is, the game's a grind. Let's be real here. Before every single hunt of a new monster, or to try to get new armor or new weapons, you have to grind. A lot. I mean, I love the franchise, and even I'm willing to admit, I've had to grind to get the stuff that I need. I mean, if I'm trying to make, I don't know, Arzuros armor or something like that, I have to kill the Arzuros multiple times, again and again and again, if I don't have the pelts or the shells or things like that that I need, you know, in addition to um, the scatter bugs, I think it is, that I need to make uh, Arzuros armor. That's something that needs to be fixed in the new Monster Hunter. Now, how do we go about fixing the grinding issue? One, make key items for certain armor sets not such rare drops. I mean, like, you're gonna tell me that if you're fighting an Arzoros, this massive bear covered in fur, you can't get any fur when you loot it? I mean, though the fur is a pretty high, you know, pretty high drop rate, but there is technically a probability or a possibility that you could kill this thing and not get any fur. Meanwhile, the thing's covered in fur. Let's be real here. More lenient drop rates for the items you need should come quicker to get the items that you need without having to grind for them. And it makes the game, you know, just less about, okay, I gotta do all this stuff before I can have fun. You wanna jump in and have fun. Don't get me wrong, it's supposed to be real and you have to do a little bit of work before you can get the stuff you want. That's fine, but don't make it where I need to play the game for three months just so I can go fight a frickin' Legiacris. And yes, I'm exaggerating to prove a point, but you know what I'm talking about. The second thing that needs to be fixed in Monster Hunter 5 is the dialogue from NPCs. What the hell is up with this? Anyone who's played Monster Hunter knows exactly what I'm talking about. These guys ramble on and on and on. They never shut up, and a lot of times, you end up mashing the A button when you're trying to talk to someone just so you can buy something. I mean, if you're trying to talk to someone so you can buy some damn potions, you gotta listen to like three paragraphs worth of information about absolutely nothing before you can actually get to the store and buy the stuff you want. Whose idea was this? Does Capcom really think that having these characters speak this much is gonna add depth or story to the game? The game has a story. You're a hunter, you hunt monsters. There's the monster, go hunt it. That's the story. This is not a game where people want to read walls of text, okay? This is not Blaze Blue. This is not The Legend of Zelda. That doesn't work here. This is an action RPG. The emphasis is on action. Yes, it's an RPG. But holy crap, did they get carried away when it comes to the people talking? How do we fix this? Very simple. Two words. Shut up. If I want to buy something, let me go to the person who's selling it and just go right to the store. I do not want to have to listen to a fucking audiobook before I get the stuff that I need. I don't want that. Nobody wants that. 
Imagine if you went into a store and you wanted to buy something and before you could buy something The person there would just tell you their whole life story And there was no way to tell them to shut the fuck up and let you just buy the shit that you want so you can get out This happens every time by the way. It's not like the first time you talk to someone this happens Every time you talk to the same person if you have to go back and get bug nets get bait get potions Get ore any of this stuff you have to do this every single time and they never shut up That needs to be fixed the final thing that needs to be fixed in Monster Hunter 5 And I saved this one for last and I'm pretty sure if you're a Monster Hunter fan You may have an idea what it is the controls. Oh my god. I do not understand how a franchise has gone so long, had so much success with some of the most sluggish, slow, unresponsive controls ever. I mean, don't get me wrong. There are definitely games with worse controls. There are games that just flat out don't control. This game actually controls, but it doesn't control well. I mean, when you are playing this game, you're wearing all this heavy armor. Armor that definitely weighs multiple dozens of, of pounds on your body. This shit is heavy. And you walk around so sluggishly, you can't make sharp turns when you're moving. And to make it even worse, the dodge rolling and things like that. It's so hard to pull these things off in a pinch when a monster is charging at you that many times you get hit even though your reflexes were faster than the computers. Now to make matters even worse, on top of the bad controls is another thing and I'm gonna just throw this in as a bonus. The animations that you have to go through when you're fighting a monster and you take a potion. When you drink one of these potions, you don't just take a sip of the potion, heal, and get right back into the action. No, you take a sip of the potion, flex your muscles for a good three seconds, and then finally you can get back into it. Now here's the problem with this. If a monster is charging at you mid-animation, there's no way to cancel out of the animation, even if you already have the health. And you've taken the potion, your health has gone back up, you're ready to go, but you're stuck in the flexing animation, and many times, you get hit. And sometimes, you get hit so hard, that the amount of damage you take is actually more than the amount of health that you got back from the potion. Basically meaning, from you taking that potion, you told the monster, here, hit me. Now, Monster Hunter is a hard game. I'm not gonna say it's an easy game. I'm not gonna say it's a cakewalk. Monster Hunter is a genuinely challenging game, and it has some of the best difficulty curves for any game that I've played in the modern generation, especially on the Wii U and 3DS. But if I die or I get hit because I was in the middle of an animation that I couldn't cancel because I was trying to heal myself, no! Fuck that! That is bullshit! If I'm taking a potion, I need to heal. And if I'm in the middle of a hard fight, and I'm trying to be urgent, in real life, I mean, since this game is trying to mimic real life, I wouldn't take a sip of my potion and flex. I would take a sip of my potion and run. And now going back to what I was saying earlier about how the armor is so heavy, and that's why you move so slowly, and that's why you swing your weapon so slow, that is the, that's the excuse that people have given to back up this idea of, oh well, you know, in real life, if you were wearing all this heavy armor, you'd run slow too. But that's horse shit, because at the beginning of the game, when you're wearing nothing but leather, the lightest armor in the entire game, you still move like you've got rocks in your pants and like you just dumped ass five minutes ago and your asshole still hurts. I can accept that some armor will make you move slower than other sets of armor. A lot of games do that. However, if I move this sluggish throughout the whole game and I'm supposed to be considered this elite monster hunter, I'm sorry, you need to get someone more agile to get the job done because it's clearly not me because I can't fucking move. <sighs> okay, I'm done. I'm done ranting. Keep something in mind. I love Monster Hunter. This is one of my favorite franchises that I'm just now getting into. I love this franchise, I love the fan base, I love the support that it sees in Japan, but man, this series is far from perfect, and if you want to debate 
any of the points that I've made on this video, feel free to. I encourage you to. It'll only get the community talking, and that's a good thing. Capcom needs to hear our voices. This is not something that we should just accept because it's the way the games have gone for so long. If something in a game is broken, specifically the fucking potion animations, things like this need to be fixed for future games. If you want to reach a broader audience, this is how you do it. Fix the problems that us the fans present to you and you'll have a better game because of it. Make sure to subscribe to Coed Gaming. Until next time, peace. Now if you'll excuse me, I need to go back to hunting the Baroth. Like I said, I'm new. Fuck that guy's hard. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you guys enjoyed the show, please hit the like button and subscribe buttons down below. No animals were harmed in the making of this film, and if you think we did well, then you're a shallow prick. Don't forget some of the past videos we did, which can be found in the boxes here and here. And as always, you guys are fucking beautiful. Except for Mikey. Fuck you!